So 20 years after the uh, apocalypse, uh, you're stuck in a frozen shell of what used to be Los Angeles. And in this LA, there is going to be a lot of enemies called the Snowbreed. So the origin of the Snowbreed is that during the 80s, there was a substance that we used to um, survive the uh, apocalypse. But at the same time, it's also what caused the Snowbreed. So the difference between After the Fall uh, and other VR zombie shooters is that you can play it uh, together with your friends. So it's all focused on four player co-op. It's crucial for uh, any team member to work together uh, by healing the, each other, uh, sharing ammo, sharing weapons. Um, this way, you know, you can only survive in the world of uh, After the Fall. So what makes the Snowbreed different from the usual zombies that you see is that they have this wolf pack mentality. They're more ferocious, they're more predatory, and uh, you really need other players to just take them out. We try to make a distinction between uh, Snowbreed that have been um, out in the wild for many, many years. We also have some uh, special snow breed, uh, which are snow breed that have uh, mutated into completely uh, different uh, creatures. The systems we provide also allow for advanced weapon handling where a VR veteran could really dive into uh, our systems and really enjoy the gun handling and feel that real immersed uh, gunplay experience. Um, the game in VR is just another you know, level of immersion that you can't have in, on a traditional screen. For example, we have a creature, you know, the, the, the jock that slowly walks at you heavily, like armored, and you know, it will, will, will sort of pick you up by the neck and moves you up in the air. And this sensation that you can only get in VR, it's not possible on a traditional screen. We want you to continuously play with your friends and go in over and over to just kick ass with your friends and fight really cool enemies. Station.